including our net, our, our series. I've, I've tried to, after burning Rico to the ground about how much he's ruined college football, in the past weeks, we have done a number of topics showcasing the things I still like about college football. We're going to have another one of those segments at 4.15, but one segment, David, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Listen. Listen. Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I need you focused. Kenny, focused. People, I won't bother. Listen. Something or nothing. We always play this game. I want to read a quote, and I want you to tell me if it's something or nothing. You will not be made fun of, regardless of what your answer is. But... Michigan has been so defiant throughout. Ward Manuel actually spoke today. And he was addressing the ferocity of the fight against the NCAA. I want to know if, in Ward's words, this is something or nothing. It's not a high-stress question. Is everyone ready? I want to read this to you. Well, first of all, we're going to fight when we need to fight. But also, we're going to, where we've made mistakes, admit to them and deal with it, Ward Manuel said. And so I don't want people to think because we don't talk about it publicly, and I can't, that we're not going to fight for what we think is right for the University of Michigan and for the people that are here. We are. When I ask, is it something? Does that not feel like Ward is walking it back a little? I, I don't I don't feel like he wore his amicus briefs. I, I don't feel like he was ready to fight with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind, like we've heard in the past, the very haughty bet or, you know, us against all, or we will not stand for this. We're going, where we have made mistakes, we're going to admit to them and deal with it. I have never heard U of M say that. Something or nothing. And if it's nothing, cool. I'm asking. You want to let the Michigan fans Yeah, I was about to say, I'm going to let David go first. It's something. Um, It is. You say that in my good ear? It's something. It is definitely the opposite of Muhammad Ali trash talking before a fight. He's backing down and saying, you know what? Yeah, when we need to fight, we'll fight, but... uh, doesn't seem like they have a need to fight. For can this I ask one. you? Can I ask a more detailed question? Sure. And it's all conjecture. We're having fun. Nobody get bent out of shape. You think this is a result of him actually seeing the notice of allegations? I do, I do, I do. Because he can, he goes on to continue to say that if you do something wrong, you go against the rules. That we need to admit it and move forward. Yes. Also, yes. He has a line in here about. You know, following the rules that we agreed to follow, i.e., you you agree to be a member institution of the NCA. It's easy to fight and be all big and bad until you see what they have on you. Yeah, here, let me read. See, this. Can oh. I read? I want to. Uh, I apologize. Let me just read the section he's referring to, and then you. This will give the even better picture. At the but at the same time, we have to understand if we do things against the rules that we know are against the rules, we need to admit to it move forward and deal with it. And so there's a duality. There is a sense that you have a responsibility to adhere to rules that we say we are going to participate in. But when it gets to a point where we feel like it is over the top or we need to fight, we will. I'm asking. I think it's something. I think it's something for a couple of reasons. Sparty. One... He says this stuff on an Ann Arbor station, which means it's his safe space. You would think if there was any time to kind of flex, that would be the time because of your audience. He's like, okay, guys, no, just wait. The other thing, Mike, it's, it's, it's the, it's, as you like to say, the quiet part out loud. They know what this is. They know what the penalties are. Nothing has been leaked out. You know, if this was the nothing burger that we were told it was, Somebody would have said, hey, look, here's here's what the penalties are going to be. Oh, with be. all the plants they have in right. the media? Here's sure. What, here's what the penalties are going to be. Radio silent. Listen and to- then for him to say, we'll deal with it when we deal with it is kind of the, 
I know what's about to happen, but I don't want to ruin Christmas for you. Opening day. Let's go out there. Let's celebrate our national championship. Let's get the rings because you don't want to know what's going to happen next. He goes back to it a third time. I didn't even see this. There are times we're going to battle, but there are also times we're just going to say we were wrong. We did it. And that's the piece. That's the duality we have to have. We can't just do it publicly. I, it, that it's feels a different like a tone. little bit of a seat change. No? A different tone. It's just definitely. Little, I, I, I'm asking if it's something or nothing. It feels like it's, it's a horror movie and Ward knows what's behind that door. You don't because you're about to open it, but he does. So, yeah. We actually, now this is interesting. He was asked, what was your reaction when you first opened? and received the notice of allegations. We have that. <laughs> I can't believe I actually... <laughs> Rico is sitting there like, oh, what do we have? Okay, we got the... <laughs> Rico actually probably had sound of that. It's next, what? Jennifer Coolidge. Okay. <laughs> Double dipping! <laughs> Like, wait a minute. Mike's over here whispering. Oh, they, well, Hi, Kenny. Fun? It's Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine? That's First Kenny opens up that, that envelope. Stopped. Whenever he fe- hears oh, Jennifer man, I'm Coolidge. Sorry. I know. I'm a horse's ass, everybody. I apologize. David, a few ticket text. <laughs> uh, but no, it's just it was interesting to read it, and I want to just get your guys' opinion. It just... It felt a little different. Maybe we're reading way too much into it. Totally plausible. But on the heels of the notice of allegations on an Ann Arbor station, respectfully, it is a safe space. That doesn't feel like someone that is resolute, F them all, we will not stand for. That doesn't sound that way. Now, after you've received the notice of allegation with the headline, continued culture of noncompliance, I wonder if this is a part of the, quote, healing process. I don't know. Just seemed interesting. Because to me, the most, more interesting thing is the penalties haven't been leaked out. Because it, I got to think that if it was really good for them, yeah, it would have. We would know. Sure, and they have all the bought and paid for media they'll ever need to conveniently leak it out. It, it could still happen. It could, but it, Unless it, to me, it just seems like it, we would have already known instantly. Okay, Here's what it's going to be. So before all you people think that if we're going to get the death penalty, we're not. No, that, that's that's no, no. I'm just saying. But it, to me, whatever punishment there is being proposed is something they don't want. They don't like. But it sounds like Ward is saying, OK, the other guy is gone. If we would have just accepted the punishment last year, we wouldn't be in this situation. So we're going to be adults about this. We're going to take the punishment this year and not drag this thing. You know, on. the problem, though. It's almost like Ward is set up to fail here because any penalty they accept, he'll be the fall guy. Yep. He's already vilified by most Michigan fans because him and Harbaugh didn't really get along. He can deny that as much as he wants. Santa Ono will be taking him out on a sailboat or a canoe in the middle of the lake. Is Santa Ono going to be there? Santa will be there. Okay. Bet. Where's Where's he going? He's like the biggest fan. If this is bad, and you were the face of this with your ridiculous. Okay, power rank this: uh, Santa Ono, Connor Stallions, or uh, the the, uh, the prosecutor. What's his name? Uh, Eli Savitt. Yeah, Savitt. Like biggest fanboy. Oh wow, that's wild. Ooh. That's that's a that's push. I mean, that's <laughs> Connor. I guess I don't know. I got another voice. I'm just saying, if if the scandal's bad, if it goes down that way. And you're out there in a Michigan sweatshirt and doing the whole public negotiations with Harbaugh, and you're bet this and bet that. I don't know. Wouldn't you just clean house? No, because you're going to say, well, I didn't know what was going down. I was told this. Hey, hey, hey. A great man who wrote a very, very important book about leadership told me, you don't get to say I don't know. His name was Glenn Bo Schembechler. So I don't want to hear that mess. You know what? In honor of that, Mike, we should go smash Buckeyes. That's right. Bo's Lasting Lessons on Leadership. Go read it. Very powerful book. David, anything? To your point on Ticket Tech, (laughs) someone says, I bet that the NOA includes the potential of vacating a title. Now Manuel has 
to play nice. Yeah, if it includes that, I can just tell you his immediate inner monologue. 